Hey everyone, it is me, TNT, and I'm back with another video on the TaskCraft server. It is episode... I, I, I don't know, and I don't feel like looking because I have this guy here, and he's a new member of the TaskCraft server. He applied, and he got in, and he's really cool. He's been a fan for a while, so yeah. Yeah, anyways, so today I want to get working on our base and stuff, so let's get right into the video and play the opener and whatnot. So the first thing I want to do is get rid of this torch spam. Uh, so I think I'm going to go get a bunch of cacti and cook them and whatnot so I can get dye. And then I'll, I'll just take care of this torch spam really fast because it's, it's not great at all. It's really not. <laughs> uh, so first thing first is carpet. So dye. I wonder if I just do this, take out these. Uh-oh. Anyways, and then I just... If I just can I... What? Can I not? This is depressing. There we go. So if I just... With that... Does that... Wait! Oh, no way. Oh, it actually works. Oh, I am so surprised. I can't have a hopper there. But it actually works. Oh, this is gonna be a breeze now. So I got the die- oh, okay, I just got hit by a skeleton. I got the die part. We have like two stacks already cooked and I can cook like another three stacks-ish. Um, I forgot I, I forgot I need wool for this. Uh, yeah, got, we gotta go out find some sheep. I hate going out for animals. Alright, so I got torches. I got carpet. Let's go. Oh, yeah, we also, like, finished the carpet. Um, yeah, I, for I forgot to, like, put that in the video. <laughs> so here's the thing. This base is looking amazing, and I love it. But the only thing is, I'm trying to figure out how to do, like, a nice chandelier sort of thingy, like, in the, uh, in the picture that we have. Um, but, like, also, yeah, we don't have much room, because I want to make it huge. I want to make it really, really cool. So I'm thinking about, like dropping the floor by like um, 10 blocks ish maybe 20 um not doing like any curvature just like straight up dropping it down like following the walls that we have right here the only thing is though i'm sad because you won't be able to see outside that much but i think i'm gonna do it anyways <laughs> well I meant to do a third person time lapse of that, but it took way, way, way longer than I expected, and it would be way too hard to put it all together um, because there would be so many different videos of me doing it. Because this took about five days, I believe, ish to get done of me working about like an hour a day, I'd say. It, yeah, it was surprisingly slow. Um, I did take breaks at points and whatnot, and like did other stuff though. Uh, but yeah, here we are. So it's looking great, in my opinion. And this will give us plenty and plenty of room to do an amazing chandelier. So the plan now is to go and grab all my grass and whatnot. That's where um, the flooring was before, by the way. Uh, so I'm going to go grab the glass. Uh, sorry, grass. Um, and I'm going to put a, all the blocks down here. Um, I dug down an extra block just so that um, I could put the grass in there. And then obviously do all the carpets and whatnot. I understand that that was totally... A waste of time doing it earlier because well we just took it all out but yeah this is where we're at and then the plan is that all these walls that look super ugly um i'm basically just gonna take them all down and replace it with white concrete and then we're gonna make a big chandelier as i already mentioned multiple times because that's the whole reason we dug down so far um and this was supposed to be my sorting system but sorting systems are really ugly so i don't know what i'm gonna do with this place honestly uh but yeah it's looking great i'm excited i'm guessing that's just a rendering bug because that looks odd and there we go i filled it all in with grass now so now all i have to do is get my green carpets i think they're up in that chest right there um and then put the torches underground and then take the carpet put that on top of it and you know all that jazz um so yeah that should not take that long i did it a few days ago as you guys already saw and it took me like 20 minutes so uh, not that bad. Anyways, let's go get started on that. Alright, so this is what it's looking like so far. So we obviously have taken care of the torch spamming. Um, and I also put the beacon underground and in the middle. And it looks really nice in my opinion. Uh, I don't know if I should 
leave the carpet on there, but I think I'm just gonna do that for now. Um, oop. And then also I added the big nether portal, but honestly, I don't know how much I like it. It's, it's just, yeah, it's not great in my opinion. Um, but I'm not gonna take it down quite yet. Oh, we should take care of that. Uh, because right now I'm actually going to go and try to gather up a lot of sand so that we can make white concrete because I already have a ton of gravel from like the walls that to clear the water in here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and make white concrete and replace all the walls with white concrete. And then for lighting, I think I'll try to use uh, sea lanterns. The only problem is I don't have many of those because there's no guardian farm or anything on the server and I'm terrified of temples, so... Yeah, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go get started on that. All right, this is awful. I'm I'm getting. I have the white concrete. I have the sand. I have the gravel. It's powdered now, but I have two shulker box worth, I believe. Um, so yeah, I don't really fancy sitting here for half an hour. Um, you know, just whacking some um, concrete. So I think I'm going to try to make an automatic concrete mixer, not like the TNT one or anything, just one where I can leave the keyboard because this is not fun at all. <laughs> so I went on to YouTube and I'm currently watching a um, OMG Chad video, o OMG Craft, I, I, I don't know, something like that. Uh, he's, he's good, he's great, I'm looking at it currently. Um, but I realize, you know, I'm doing the walls and whatnot. That's why I need this concrete, and I can just take a water bucket and just flood it afterwards when I'm all done. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'll probably end up doing that. It, I just kind of forgot about how concrete works, kind of in a way. Uh, but I'm still gonna make this just so I have it later on. <laughs> so and uh, OBS ended up not really recording. Was that because I forgot to open it up or just wasn't recording for some reason? I don't know. Um, but yeah, basically I'm working on the walls now and I started there for some unknown reason and then went to there for some unknown reason. And I don't really remember why, but I did. Um, so yeah, that's what it's looking like so far. Um, and I have done a quarter of the way, which is great, but it, it's, it takes a long while. It's taken about 30 minutes to get all that. I actually worked on it for about an hour, uh, but some of that was devoted to lighting up caves nearby because I was hearing, hearing monsters, which I do not want. Uh, and then the other part was doing this because that's our portal. And then that's our portal. Look at how perfect that lines up. It's literally just, it's, it, it lines up perfectly, which I'm so happy about. Uh, that was not purposeful at all. Um, I did not make it on the same level, which I'm sad about, but there's not... We're, we can't make everything perfect. I mean, we can, but I, I'm I'm lazy, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's looking good so far, I think. Um, the only problem I don't... I'm having and I don't like is... Um, it gets really dark up there. So, I talked to uh, Kenzie, who I, I made the uh, reference photo. And they suggested end rods, which I think might be kind of cool. So basically doing like a big strand of end rods on like every other corner. So like goes all the way up and then this one goes all, maybe this one, maybe every other other corner. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I don't even have many end rods. I don't think I have any end rods. So that's going to be fun to gather. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just going to continue and hope for the best that... I don't know, maybe I speed up somehow. <laughs> I also remembered that, um, yeah, I'm going to have to, uh, basically redo all these carpets again and, like, the lights inside of them because if, yeah, I'm gonna have to take water, um, water, water, and put it on the top so that all this turns into hard and white concrete, but that's gonna destroy all the carpets and the torches. Uh, so that would be, I believe, the fourth time redoing it because I redid it. The first time, then we destroyed the ground underneath it. I did it again, messed up because the car one of the carpets supposed to be right in the middle, um, which it was not. So then I took it all out, did it again, um, did it how it is right now, and then I'll have to do it again with the water. So that's gonna be great. I am so excited to do that carpet yet another time. <laughs> I am more than three fourths of the way there. I want to go play. Oh, oh, I should fix that really fast. One second. Well, it's done. Kind of. I, I have to cover it in water now, but I mean, like, it's basically done. Which, 
I'm kind of really, really happy about because I hated this project, actually. Um, not as much as digging down because it, it actually only took a day. I thought it was going to take multiple, uh, but still, it, it wasn't a very fun time to spend my time. <laughs> so actually, I don't have to like redo much of the carpet. Luckily, um, these holes actually make it so that the water doesn't go that far. It sucks it up. That makes sense. Uh, but yeah, it just kind of disrupts the flow of the water. Uh, so that's really cool, but I just finished. So it's all hardened concrete now, which is really cool. But yeah, so I'm just going to replace these last few carpets. And instead of going out to the end today and gathering up a bunch of end rods or crafting them up, I, I don't actually know exactly how to craft them up, but I think you can. Um, I think I'm going to go play a little bit of Bed Wars and then head to bed. Um, or maybe not head to bed, but... You know, play a little bit of Bed Wars. I'm kind of tired of um, um, survival Minecraft for at least tonight. Also, we still have more than a half shulker box of uh, concrete. It's not hardened, but we have it. So if we ever want to use that, we can, which is really cool. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to go play Bed Wars now. Also, I'd just like to mention for the people who watch my streams, I'm getting better at Bed Wars. I have 24 wins. That's mostly in solo, which I'm happy about. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to go play Voidless for a little bit. It actually turns out that crafting up your end, own, own end rods is actually kind of easy because uh, you get four end rods for like one piece of uh, blaze rods, up, up for one blaze rod and um, one of those fruit things from the end. Um, uh, I, I don't remember what they're called, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, it shouldn't be that hard. Uh, and I think it'll be much easier than going out and finding an end city and destroying all of their end rods. So I'm going to go for that. But for that, I am good. I need blaze rods. So I'm headed to the only um, only temple I really know <laughs> that is on the Tazcraft server. So hopefully we can get quite a few end rods. All right, well, I have 64 end rods now. Uh, so, not end rods, I'm sorry, blaze rods. Uh, so, I'm gonna get out of here before I die, because I there is actually a decent amount of close calls, which is, yeah, that's not great. <laughs> I'm gonna just throw that out, I don't want to take inventory space. Uh, so yeah, let's head to the end, I guess, now. Hopefully those should be pretty easy to gather up. I don't know if you need the fruit itself, or like, the flower part of it, you know? Well, after being lost in the nether for, I'd say, about 15 minutes, I have finally made it to the end. Uh, so now if we just break down one of these, get this fruit stuff, and then just... Okay, so maybe it's like the flower of it, like that thing. Here, one second. So if we just do that and that, like that. Oh, come on, what is it? I swear the photo said it was this. Oh, okay, so my bad. I thought that they were using a texture pack, but they were not. Um, so yeah, basically how you do it, apparently... Oh, that did not work. Uh, is basically, uh, you put the chorus fruit into a furnace, and then that makes it into the stuff that you want, and then that makes everything good, I think. We're gonna have to ch test that, just to make sure, um, before we go put in the super smelter, because I don't want to waste a lot of fuel, but yeah. So that's the plan as of right now. And now we're back in the overworld. So if we just take out some chorus fruit and just stick it in there. Okay, so it is cooking. That's a good sign at least. Uh, we skip board. There we go. Popped chorus fruit. Okay, I never knew that was a thing. And it makes end rods. Hey, all right. So at least we figured it out. Uh, yeah, I got, I got a go up to the super smelter though so I can get this done really nice and fast if we, I could just fly. Perfect, that thing was incredibly fast so this should give us four stacks. That should be enough to at least see how it looks. So this is kind of what I was looking, like this is what my idea was. Um, but it doesn't really look quite right in my opinion, just kind of like being up there. Like just going straight up. So I'm thinking about maybe connecting them and like leaving a gap so like Instead of going on that corner, we go on this corner next. So let's see how connecting them looks. First of all, that's already a stack of end rods. Second of all, that looks horrible. Horrible. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we should just stick with the end rods, like, just without connecting them. Just, like, regular old end rods, you know? Like, going up. I, I don't really know 
exactly what to do right now, but we're gonna do something anyways because I really want this place to be lit up. <laughs> you know what? No, I'm happy with this. This is good. This should do. I'm, I can live with this, that's for sure. So uh, if we just look at this, so that is how it's gonna line up and that is not good. Um, so yeah, we'll figure that out later, but yeah, I'm happy with this. Well, this is how far I can get as of right now with the amount I have. Uh, but yeah, it gives it some more dough. I was gonna say I love it, but all of a sudden, I'm looking at it. Like, closer. Uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, let me go ask Kenzie for advice. They're a good builder. I'm gonna keep on going both ways. One way I like it, the other way I don't like it. I'm, I'm gonna keep on switching. Now I'm kinda digging it. But a second ago, I kinda hated it. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Dang it, Kenzie was literally just online. They were just online on Discord. And then I send them the message, and then now they're offline. Ah. So, um, Kenzie finally responded and just said that they think it looks fine. Um, so I mean like, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it. My brother also thinks it looks good. I don't really care at this point. I don't think it looks bad, so that's all that really matters. As long as it doesn't look bad, then we're good. Uh, but yeah, I'm all out of end rods, so I'm gonna go back uh, to the nether and kill enough uh, blazes to get like a stack and 16 blaze rods, I say, should be about good. And then, of course, I have to go smelt the fruit stuff again. The elder fruit. Elder. I, 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 why am I? I don't know why I'm totally forgetting what it's called. But yeah, uh, so let's go get started on that again. Welp, I'm on fire, but I have all the rods I need. I have a stack and 16, so that'll give us like five stacks of uh, the end rods. Wait, I meant blaze rods, but I said end rods. I don't know. My, my diction, my words, whatever you want to call it, has not been very good lately. Uh, probably because I just finished homework and I'm just kind of dead inside. Um, but hopefully that'll wear off. Anyways, so now I just have to find my way home. And I don't remember which way the... Oh, wait. There. There. So we follow this little thing right here. And then we go down. And there we go. Now we're back on the trail. Alright, so let's head home and craft... Oh, actually, we have to go to the end first. Dang it. Well, it was way, way, way easier to get all the uh, chorus fruit than the blaze rods, but now we have everything, so we should just throw all the chorus fruit in here. So technically we don't have everything, but we have everything to make what, everything that we need. Yeah. Yeah. See, once again, words just not working, like, today, but it's alright. Uh, so yeah, let's throw this in here, and this in here, and then this, and this, and that should be good. Let's just turn it on and let's wait. Okay, wait, I thought that this was just rain, but it's thunder, so um, let's go and look for a channeling book and get, go to our shop and get one of the triads that we're selling. I, I swear I must have one channeling book somewhere in here. I want I really just want to hit something with lightning right now. That just sounds really fun. <laughs> Turns out I don't have a channeling book on me, which is depressing, because I totally thought I did. Uh, but hopefully, if we go back up here, this should... Oh, that's a drone. Uh, this should be good. Yeah, all the furnaces are turned off, so it should all be filling into this chest, and it's apparently light outside now, so great. Uh, let's take that, and yeah, let's go craft up the end rods. Well, I think it looks actually really beautiful. Uh, it stands out, it's fun, it's fresh, it's cool. I don't... I st I'm still not sure about it, but you know what, I'm, ha I'm happy that we at least have light, because uh, now the white looks really good, the white walls look great. Um, the end portal generates a little bit of light, not much. I tried it, like, here, actually, I'll just show you guys. I tried it like that, but personally, I don't really like how it looks, so I'm gonna leave it out. Uh, but yeah, I think the end portal light should be enough, it's not very bright, but eh. At least it's, you can tell that the walls are white, and that's all that really matters. Um, but look how fun this is. I, I take a lot of damage, but like also, psh, I just fall straight down because I can break all of them instantly. Ah, sorry, I just really like that. Anyways, I think that we can officially... Oh, I don't have anything on me that can change the, um, the beacon, but I think that we should change it to like speed or jump boost. I'm also going to try to get more beacons, but not yet. I think next episode we might be making... 
an ender skeleton farm, a wither skeleton farm, that's what I meant to say. Um, wait, ender, wait, wither, wait, wither skeleton farm. With their skeleton farm, yes, I can speak. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that should be fun. We're not gonna make a really big one like Scout made in Hermitcraft season six. Uh, we're just gonna make a little nice dandy one. Um, that's not very large, but as long as we don't die while getting Ender skeleton, Wither skeletons, uh, then I'm happy. Uh, so yeah. But let's see how much longer I have to work on this video. Like h how long this video is because. I can't really think of something like to do. <laughs> that is 21 minutes. Wow. So it might be less because like there's quite a bit of stuff that I typically take out that like was misrecording or something. But yeah, that's all I have time for today, guys. Um, and that's delightful because this video has to be posted by Saturday. Basically, my schedule from now on, I'm posting once every two weeks on Saturday. So this Saturday, obviously, I posted because you're watching this video. Uh, so next Saturday I won't post, but the Saturday after that I will post. I realize that if I just don't have a schedule, I never post, so <laughs> about time we get a schedule. I know that's like a really bad schedule because like I'm barely posting, but I'm really, really busy. And to get these videos 20 minutes and like have good content, really hard. I was able to do it like 10 minutes every week, twice a week or something, but it wasn't good content in my opinion. And like it was only 10 minutes, so yeah. I'm sorry if you guys are disappointed, but that's what's gonna work for me right now. But really fast, let's get on to today's sponsor, Sticky Pistons, as it always is every single video. Sticky Pistons is a Minecraft server hosting company that offers amazing and powerful servers for a great price. Sticky Piston also has many different types of servers to choose from, such as vanilla, modded Minecraft, minigame maps, and more. They also have a great and easy way to control your server so you don't have to go through all these different web pages and whatnot. Um, it's also great for be beginners like myself at making your own server. Um, and if you do get confused with anything, uh, their customer support is great and they can help you with almost any problem that you could have. Uh, so there's a link in the description if you want to go check them out. And I highly suggest you should because I'm not, uh, they're not sponsoring me because like, they're like, oh, I want to sponsor you. No, I actually want them to sponsor me because I think, I believe, I really love their product and I think that they're doing a great job with it um so yeah definitely go check them out uh so thank you guys so much for watching I highly highly appreciate it you don't understand if you watch till this point then like you're amazing and I love you and you're my favorite viewer um <laughs> but if you guys haven't subscribed yet then please consider doing so it really incredibly helps out the channel and once I hit 1000 subscribers I can make this into a job kind of at least, like, I won't be laughed at by my siblings that I'm a Minecraft YouTuber because I'll be actually making money. Uh, so, yeah, that's, like, that's how big it helps me. I'll be making money if you subscribe. Um, but, yeah, so thank you guys again for watching. Um, and I hope you have a great day. And Merry Christmas. I probably will post a video before Christmas. Wait, actually, let me check. Yeah, I will be posting another video before Christmas comes out. Uh, comes out? Comes before Christmas arrives. Uh, but still, Merry Christmas, and I hope you guys are having a great December. Bye!